Ready for real stuff? I'm as ready as I'm gonna get. I don't know. Okay. Is that enough for Yeah. Alright, mm -hmm. wash your hands. So these doses, the pre filled syringes, all come with the same amount in them? Yes, they come in. Oh, what did they bring you? Oh, this is a replacement. The first, the first shipment that I got got frozen, and so I had to get it replaced, and this is what they replaced it with. Yeah, this is pre filled? I guess it is. Never seen it like this. Yeah, it's the same thing. It should be clean. It got frozen. Yeah. I didn't know that it wasn't supposed to be frozen. It came back in ice, so I just automatically thought, well, I'll stick it in the freezer. So that's what it did. And then I got to read in yeah. the, you know, the information booklet that comes with it. It says, you know, do not, or don't use if it gets frozen or whatever. Yeah. So. Okay, where should I stick this? It's a little frosty because it's cold. You can actually get these out for a little bit. You just kind of want How long is it safe to leave them out? Hours. Really? Days. Really? Okay. I don't know. What were your first symptoms? Basically, just numbness and extremities. Is that right? Know, being lethargic and stuff, I didn't even associate that with anything. I just thought, you know, I must have low, be low energy or something. I was just constantly like, you know, taking like energy pills and stuff, just try, try to stay pepped up and focused at work and stuff like that. And yeah. then, after, you know, then after I got diagnosed, it's like other stuff that I experienced, and I started, to, you know, I figured, well, maybe that's just, mm -hmm. you know, due to the MS. So. It went so yeah. pretty quickly. Okay, so. Quarter dose, is that what we're doing? Yeah, so we'll start off with a quarter, now next week you'll do a half. Now should I take this out first? Um, you, nah, I'll probably just go ahead and break that off and get, okay. get that ready. So I'm not going to start off with the whole dose, I'm going to start off with a quarter dose. Squeezing out the air bubble. Starting out with a very, 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 very tiny dose. See if I get some air back in there. Is that too much? Mm -hmm. A little bit more, actually. There you go. Okay. Now, can I lay this down while I'm taking this out of the packaging? You can. I'd like just lay it like in the sterile container here. Huh. Yeah, I had a real good relapse in March. I'd never. I was kind of freaking out over it because I'd never experienced anything like that before. I had the whole. You know, lead shoes, like, you know, just kind of stuck in slow motion and, you know. The vagina no. steroids. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, was, that was my first experience taking that mega dose of steroids. Any vision problem? Um, yeah, I've had, apparently I've had a little bit of damage in my right eye, that, that those optic nerves. I think I might be having a light, a real light uh, attack right now, but. How, how do they, um, who diagnosed you? Your family doctor? Um, well, he couldn't actually diagnose me. He referred me to, my physician referred me to a neurologist, and I think it was Ty Brown, and he's the one that said it was pretty, it was a pretty safe diagnosis to say I had MS. They do MRI. Then, yeah, yeah. I've had M I had the spinal tap, and I had MRI in the spine, and MRI in the brain, and um, I, uh, right. So now I'm seeing Dr. Walker. 